Terrence Penny is a is an artist. Terrence Penny is a brother. Terrence Penny is a mentor. Terrence Penny is a mentee. That's Terrence Penny. Where I'm from? I'm from the north. Who is Terrence Penny? Terrence Penny is a, a brother. Terrence Penny is a son. Terrence Penny is an artist. Terrence Penny is a mentor. Terrence Penny is a mentee. I'm a youth worker. I am Terrence Penny. Um, you've had a pretty, you know, successful career, I'd like to say, maybe. I started making music um, when I was I was 18 years old and uh, it was, I was going to a local church and they wanted to put on concerts to kind of like attract the youth and whatnot. And you know, what way to attract the youth by getting the youth to rap up on stage, right? So, you know, they hit me and said, yo, someone ta taught me how to do that there. And you know, I kind of just stuck with it. I learned how to articulate how I felt, what that emotion felt like, you know, instead of just saying a lot of like churchy lines and whatnot, I learned how to kind of like, you know, make that my own. And when I found my voice in it, like I, I ran with it. The church that I used to go to, like they called me like a rebel and whatnot. And you know, how like, I was preached about and seen as, a, you know, as a kind of rebellious spirit and whatnot. And, you know, I had to remove myself from there because of all of those things. You know, some people say like, how did you go to a church where, or still a believer, or a Christian or whatnot, after you were rejected by certain people, you know, because of the way that you are and whatnot. You know, for me, my perspective is like, I'm out here to preach to you, you know, because I don't got the offering bowl. But like, you know, if you look, you know, Jesus was rejected by the same people too. Sometimes, you know, there's a difference between religion and faith. And, you know, a lot of people play that game. Like, I'm not here to kind of like say that you don't need a church because I still attend one and whatnot, you know, but there are many places that do hurt people because they're human. You know, I will hurt you too as a person. It's just a natural thing. The only thing is different is that you gotta be able to admit that and where you kind of like hurt somebody and move forward in that direction. Some people don't do that and then that's where the problem is. And that's why I had to kind of like remove myself from that specific, from that place. My thought process behind writing Freedom was after I left that church, you know, I was going through a lot and those people said, I'll never do this, I'll never do that. And I felt like I was kind of bound to their words. So like, you know, I wanted to push through that and personally, you know, what does that look like? So the first line that I had for like a month before I even wrote the verses to freedom was like, they said that I can never do it, that I was wasting time, but they could never prove it. And slaves to the words of he can't and won't do, but your boy charged up and I talk in Goku. And the reason why I said that is because I don't, I'm, no, I'm I was reiterating and, and telling myself, you know, I'm no longer bound to what these people think of me. I'm going to be as free as I can and be as what God created me to be and move 100 miles in that direction.